how to do the water link spin touch. First thing you get your sample. I like to rinse the sample bottle before filling it with the sample. There are a few ways you can get your sample from it. The most common is to open the lid, get your sample syringe and just fill it that way. You want to make sure the whole syringe is full of water and there's no air in it. Then once you have your syringe filled with water, you get your spin disc and there is a fill point just here. Now this sits in the fill point, you don't have to push that in, it'll just sit there. And when you fill, you fill up each chamber to the fill line, which is here. You need to make sure there's no air in the disc. There's the fill line. You can go a little bit over or a little bit under. And there's an overflow chamber here, just if you go a bit over is okay. So you open. This has to go back on. Turn on. If you force the syringe head in, you will end up breaking the syringe head. This is a nice new one. These are changeable. So to start the test, tap to start, you want to make sure that you've select your sanitizer. In this case, we're testing for chlorine. You select the correct disc. We've got a 204 series. You want to make sure that they're in date. Tap to start. They spin pretty hard at first and then it slows down. Each spin lab has all the instructions, which are pretty simple to follow. They also come with a meter check disc, which checks the calibration of the spin disc. This also is used to calibrate. And that's all that is. You want to make sure you don't touch the inside of this. So now we have our results. This is a test taken from Sydney Mains water. You can see that's pretty high chlorine and phosphates for Mains water. So once you've done your test, always make sure to take the disc out because water can leak from this in here. This is a photon meter. So light shines from the top through to the sensors. The chambers will change color. One chamber is for each different test. After your test is done, you can check the history, the square box, and you can select the tests that you want to read and press the page and you can scroll through past tests.
So to check the calibration, you get the meter check disc insert. You don't need to put this on top. You select MCD, which is meter check disc. Tap to start. So this is checking the calibration of the unit. So as you see, these are the different channels. This is what we've got. So for the first one, we need to have above 0.10. We've got 0.5 and the rest all are all within the required ranges. To calibrate, we go to settings, calibration, insert meter check disc and tap start. We've done that. So this is going through and calibrating each channel. And that's it. Calibrated, we will tick to accept, and that's it. These are the old discs, they used to come in individual packets. The new discs come in a pack of 10. This needs to remain sealed or it will ruin the discs, and that's how they are. These need to be kept cool. If you leave them in a hot car, it will affect the results. And you can get false results. The common thing is to get a high combined chlorine. And then this is the full kit. I like to keep a business card in there. If I lose it, they, I can get a call. back is USB-C for charging and to plug it into a computer if this has any faults you can plug it into your computer and Lamont will fix it over the phone and that's the water link spin